Now turn left onto Sky Ridge Drive. It's clear. I mean, it's pretty smooth. I don't know why the blinker's still on. Probably because the steering wheel hasn't come all the way back, but. There we go. Slows down for the speed bump there. <clears throat> this is nice. <laughs> and we've been waiting so long for this. In 500 feet, turn right onto Pershing Avenue. Okay, yeah. I've always loved that. FSD, it's still like telling you what to do. Like, hey, we're just going to need to do this. Okay, don't mind if I put it in FSD and do that. Now turn right onto Pershing Avenue. I've got my feet. I'm, I'm not touching anything. I'm just kind of got my feet ready. My hands are ready. Uh, we can't see to the left, so we should pull forward <laughs> a little bit. I mean, it was pretty confident. That was actually really nice. It wasn't uh, before it was like... It would spend quite a bit of time just kind of double checking, making sure is everything clear, is everything safe to go. Like that's the same amount of time I probably would have spent at that at that In 500 turn there. Turn left on Madison Avenue. It's nice though. The brakes are nice. Like the braking is smooth. I don't feel jerky. It's really nice. Now turn left on. This is so good. This this feels like for as long as it's taken and everybody thinking like, oh, well, maybe it's the Cybertruck. Maybe they need more data for the Cybertruck. Maybe X, Y, Z, whatever. It feels like it's been out forever. And it feels really, really good. So far. All right, should be us next. Should be good. Okay, cool. I'm actually I'm gonna change modes. I'm in uh, beast mode right now, and I'm gonna go to my custom mode. It, it's still got uh, beast acceleration. I'm sorry, this is chill acceleration, focused steering, uh, and and better ride height. So just a little bit more comfortable. But come on, we're not we're not racing anybody. <clears throat> glad to finally get this this is like the biggest the biggest thing every cyber truck that you've seen on the road paid for full self-driving and hadn't had it for a year months months now and now it's rolling out so it's really it's really nice Uh, the, the acceleration curve that this has in FSD has been like super comfortable, super nice. Uh, so the one thing that I'm noticing now is full self-driving has an automatic limit for speed that you can enable and I have it enabled and basically it's 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 a thing where it will keep you going with the flow of traffic and uh, that right now is slower than the speed limit um, it was 50 back there it's now 45 here um, but we were doing 44 back there just a second ago so I don't really don't really care for that and now here we're doing you know 49 and if in a, in a 45. We are going to have to get over here pretty quick. So let's see what this does. That, that right on cue. Turns the blinker on, gets over. Cool. This is going to be a, a, a weird right turn onto a bridge here. 
Uh, we'll see if there's cross traffic, if it's going or not. If we have a green, it's gonna be easy. If we have a red going straight uh, and there's cross traffic, it's one of those where it's, it's, a, it's a yield turn um, that merges. And we, it looks like we have a little bit of construction too where the right lane is close. I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. We might not be able to turn. I don't know what this construction is here. Looks like it's now turn right onto Folsom Boulevard. Not going to let us. Okay, I mean that's <laughs> okay. We actually do have a little right-hand uh, space up here to turn onto the bridge. It's just not where the lane is. So this is this is really cool. We went around the construction. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to just mow down cones. That didn't happen. Now let's see. So there is a little space that I can see up there where the cones break. And this should hopefully turn on it. Um, and it looks like we're going to have the green light. So just enough time for this to do whatever it wants. Keep an eye on it. Make sure that it's going to be safe. See what it does. All right. Well, this this guy's gonna do the exact same thing. Cool. Like perfect. <clears throat> now it's gonna merge. We're getting over. Oh, it looks like there's more construction up here on the bridge too, so this is this is good. I noticed I, that the cones aren't showing up. They they used to show up on um, on the display. I'm not seeing it now. I mean, this is cool. It, it's been nice and. Cautious. This honestly feels right now like a like a ride from Disneyland. In 1008, turn left onto Natoma Street. Like I'm just <laughs> I'm just like enjoying the scenery, taking this in. Now that was another example of where the now speed limit here is Natoma is 50, uh, but it was riding 44 45 the whole way i mean there's nothing come on there's nothing unsafe about that there's nothing illegal necessarily about that it's just uncomfortable especially when you have people behind you they're like what what's going on you have nobody in front of you why are you driving like a little granny um, and that's part of that uh, dynamic speed limit that you can set in FSD. Otherwise, you can set it to do a percentage above the speed limit, always go the speed limit, or you can manually uh, adjust the max. Uh, no, no complaints. I mean, that's just something that can get that can get better. And right now, uh, I'm with this being a beta. I would much rather this be more cautious than not. So, I'm all for it. It's just not. It's just. One of the things that you notice because it's not how you drive. And that's that's really the biggie. That's what I'm noticing the most is uh, it's just not what I would do. That's all. Doesn't mean it's wrong. It's exactly how a person would drive. Like they would get over to the right to allow people who are going straight to continue to go straight. I'm going right, get over a little bit when the line starts to break. 
full stop, turn right, like, I could have been asleep and that would have been perfect. By the way, one of the updates here as well is I no longer have to, you used to have to put your hand on the wheel at all times in order to use FSD. It just wanted to make sure that you were actually prepared to take over if anything happened. Um, and in some of these last updates, you no longer have to do that. There is a camera up here um, that is detecting to make sure that I'm paying attention to the road at all times. Um, otherwise, it would tell you on the screen, yo, pay attention. And I mean, believe it or not, this so this is still a beta, which means they know that it's not perfect. Um, to this day, if we get in an accident, it is my fault. It is my fault. There are check boxes that I have to agree to. Hey, and it, it says on here, this thing could do the worst possible uh, it can make the worst possible decision at the worst possible moment and you have to be prepared to take over at any time. Do you agree? Yes or no? And you have to check a box that says yes and then hit enable and then it enables. So it is it is uh, my responsibility to pay attention at all times. And this is a beta. So until Tesla says, hey, I'm willing to take uh, responsibility for any accidents, um, you know, insurance, that kind of thing, this is not ready to go but it's, uh, it feels really, really close. One of those things that people don't understand when they see something in the, in the media about something happened and they think FSD was enabled. It's like, well, You did have to accept responsibility and say that you were willing to take over at any time for anything. Um, if, if you don't pay attention, this actually can get to the point where it will kick you out of being able to test FSD. You, you're no longer allowed to use the beta. So if you screw around, you're not paying attention, you do fall asleep. Um, it will give you, it's kind of like a three strikes, you're out type of thing. Um, but it gives you five chances. Like it's, you have to really want to get out of it. And if that's the case, you know, you have to pay for this software. Uh, every Tesla comes with all of the cameras and the hardware to do it. But if you want to use full self-driving, you have to pay for that. And so for you to screw around and get out of it, it's just, why would you do that, you know? I mean, so far this has just been like an enjoyable ride. <laughs> Again, I have a I have a Performance Model Three with full self driving, and this is this is just it's no different than than what that would do. Um, this is this is dare I say this is actually a little bit better. Situations like that where we go from one lane into two lanes um, with a car in front of us where it can't really see where the lane splits. Sometimes I've experienced it to where it, it doesn't know. It doesn't know if it should get over to the right, maybe the, the lane's there, or to the left, but this lane splits in, into two. And that was just such a confident, like, I'm just gonna stay here. That guy's clearly getting over. I'm staying, there was no hesitation, no nothing. And with those hesitations, sometimes it's a little bit jerky uh, and, and uncomfortable. Very rarely do I like to do full self-driving with other people in the car. Um, on the camera, it always looks smooth. It always looks nice. Uh, sometimes if uh, full self-driving thinks it sees something or, I don't know, uh, maybe thinks that a bicyclist that's on the side of the road is actually going to go in front of you or something like that, there's a, kind of a slamming on the brakes situation. I feel it in here. On the camera, you don't see it. You might see the, the speed slow down a lot, but uh, you won't feel it. And some of those situations happen, and so with other people in the car, <laughs> if it's jerking left or right or hitting the brakes on, on occasion, um, obviously it's not comfortable for them. I geek out on this, so I like being here a part of it. I like seeing the progression. I like everything that this is able to do. This, this right now, the, the amazing part of this right now is this is neural learning. This is true artificial intelligence where there is no code saying, hey, when you come up to a green light, you're gonna go. If that light turns yellow or red, you're gonna slow down and then you're gonna stop. There's no code 
that's doing that. This is just like you or I would learn, is we watch our parents as we learn. We hear from books uh, and from our teachers that says, hey, red lights, you stop. So this is being trained on all of the, so there's a Tesla right there. Th that Tesla has cameras just like this one. That Tesla is feeding the same neural net. So every time they come up to a red light and it stops, full self-driving is learning off of millions of video clips of when someone comes to a red light, they stop. Therefore, this vehicle now, when it comes to a red light, it's just gonna know, well, millions of times, this must be the rule, I'm gonna stop. So this is true neural learning. This isn't code anymore. This is this is a true true artificial intelligence. I mean that that was amazing. Uh, I, personally, I would have got over further back. I know how to get to this location, so I would have gone into the leftmost lane as soon as it started. Um, Again, that's just me. I'll, I'll kind of sit in that lane and chill. Uh, this obviously didn't. However, that lane change was amazing. We didn't cut anybody off. There was somebody in that lane, but we were far enough in front of it. We're behind this. We got over. It was like, I'm super comfortable. I'm super confident that the car is going to do the right thing at this point. people around me too and as if the truck itself isn't polarizing and people are looking over at me now they're looking at, at me and I'm just talking <laughs> I'm just talking to myself too in it maybe they think I'm on the phone <clears throat> okay and I'm here I, this is it should be pretty pretty straightforward this is it's three lanes at one point it does go into two uh, we'll see what lane it decides to pick our destination is is much further up it's it's a, a another two and a half miles or so up and it'll be on the right hand side so I don't want to be in the right hand lane at this moment because up here the lane does get over it, it ends and merges into this uh, into this lane so Depending on traffic, depending on what the car thinks it needs to do, I don't know if it's going to get in that lane um, or if it'll just chill out right here. I'm always, I'm always a little bit curious to know, you know, what's it, what's it going to do with, um, with, with a slow car like, like we have in front of us. We have both lanes going around us, and uh, you know, I have a slow, I have a slow car, obviously, in front of us. So is it going to want to get around, um, go around this person? That's kind of my worry. Will it want to go into the left-hand lane? I don't, I don't know fully. Um, okay, this is really good. So it came up to this uh, yellow light and it's it stopped. It stopped without speeding through. Good thing too. I don't know if if anybody saw. <laughs> there is a there is a police uh, now in that turn lane. That would have been great just to have flown through that. Excuse me, did you know that you sped up during that yellow? Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. It was the car. Right after I get done saying the bit about uh, you are always in control, you need to take control at any moment. So that was great. That was, that was like, again, awesome. Can't complain. Here's where that lane merges. And we do have somebody on our right. I'm not going to touch anything. We're, we're going to see what the car decides to do. Again, this is a little bit uncomfortable because the speed limit is 45. We were doing 43. Uh, that merge came up. You could see the speed kind of increased a little bit, which again is fine. But I'm sure if, if I was in that lane next to me and you know, you're debating, do I, do I merge in front of this person? Do I slow down behind them? They are going under the speed limit. My inclination would probably have been let's speed up a little bit let's just get, get in front of this person um, that wasn't this that wasn't the case that wasn't the situation so <clears throat> these um, again these accelerations from the green lights have been like super smooth this uh, this whole ride has been super smooth I feel like Again, I feel like this is just a Disney ride, or a ride at Disneyland or something. Just 
enjoying myself. Which is awesome, because I, I got the update, and then it's just been excitement the whole time, where I'm, I'm excited to try this, then I get in, it's a little bit anxiety, right? Never never done it in the Cybertruck. Um, never, I never know what it's gonna do. It's supposed to perform well, but we don't know, right? So, uh, but that quickly went away, and now I'm just like having a good time. And when we get in, I'm curious to see what it's going, going to do in the parking lot. Um, I don't, I mean, this is full self-driving. We're, we're driving, you know, obviously on, on these back roads and things, but um, here, here's a bicyclist. Let's see if it does, it is on the screen. Uh, just goes around like you or I would. Hey, I see you there. I'm you know, not gonna get close to you. I'm not gonna make it uncomfortable. There was a car to the side. It did go a little bit over. It would, you know, kind of hug the left of our lane. Here's somebody that clearly didn't stop at that red light. And now we'll just kind of slow down. Hi, how's it going? In 1,000 feet, turn right. Probably on lunch. Gotta eat. Hey, there's a fellow cyber truck up there. Wonder if it's full self-driving. I'm sorry, I know you see me talking, talking to myself. Okay, so what we're gonna see, we'll, we're gonna pull into this parking lot, and then I'm really curious to know, you know, is it going to, uh, is it going to park, or is it just gonna kinda chill when it gets to this destination? Guess we'll see. I will say too, this is a, a really good time to be testing this. Like it's not super busy. It's it's a little odd. Okay, that was a little close to that to that car there. Don't I did not like that left hand turn. That was really close to that van. Now your destination is on the left. Okay. I think it's just like here you go get out maybe no idea who that is your destination will be on the right all right i'm going to take over here this guy clearly doesn't know that there's somebody behind him it's one thing with an ev is that People really can't hear you. This does make a little bit of noise when it's going, but obviously that person didn't know, you know, where it's going. Mm. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's um, let's try this. Uh, this is this is auto parking. Um, let's see if it will park in this spot. <laughs> There's nobody behind us, so I'm just gonna kind of let this let it let it do its thing here. Okay. Well, we've got the clearance. We've got everything. I would say that that's that, that is pretty good. Okay, uh, let's go back to, let's put this in, in drive, and I will, um, let's, en <clears throat> let's engage, auto drive, or right, full self driving. That's really far back from that stop sign. Don't really, don't really care for that. Now turn right onto So this is gonna take us on the freeway. 
and I'm really curious. Freeway should be fine, but I know the off ramp here is going to be very interesting. It's always been very interesting. It's two lanes that get off that turn into, shoot, three, four lanes, three lanes, four. I think three lanes turn right and one lane goes straight or turns left. And there's two lanes that will, that will turn or that will let me turn. Um, and this has always, always, always insisted on getting over into the right hand or the rightmost turn lane. And it doesn't matter if there's cars there or what. It's just like, even though the lane that I'm in will also turn right, full self-driving has never cared. It's always tried to get over into the rightmost lane. Um, I mean, cars are there. It's showing, you know, my, my the lights are on saying like, hey, there's a vehicle on that side. Doesn't matter. It's just like, I'm gonna get over. I need to get over. I have to get over. So we're gonna see how this how this goes. Getting onto the freeway though, should be no problem. I'm assuming the freeway should be just fine. Curious to see, you know, again, it's always like if you're behind somebody slow, will it go around them? Um, you know what, what? What's what's it going to what's it going to do? But this is perhaps when uh, like this is just a right hand turn right onto the freeway. This is no nothing special. in the bike lane. And here again, let's see, you know, what it does with speed. I've got a black Model Y coming up quick. And that's a, this is a huge on-ramp, so like there's plenty of time to gain speed. Let's see what this wants to do. Uh, this is awesome. This is perfect. This is what I would expect even on city streets. You know, yes, it's, uh, freeway is 65, flow of traffic is just, it's, it's moving. There's no, there, there's no uh, congestion. So here we are cruising at 70, 73, it was 74 a second ago. There goes that Model, model Y. What's up fam? Performance Model Y, looks very nice. Looking at me talking to myself, it's cool. 72, so this is cool. I, I, I like this. This is what I wish it would have done, you know, when we had our 50 mile an hours uh, around town. It could do 52, 53 just to keep up with everybody else instead of everybody else going around us. But this is nice. This is just going to be an enjoyable freeway drive. It's probably going to be boring. Sorry. I don't think that there's any construction up here. I mean, that's always, that's always the thing. Like, you know, and that's why this is still in a beta. There's so many edge cases. Uh, it's easy like I was talking about, it's easy to pull video clips of people driving, coming up to red lights and stopping and saying, okay, if this is what people do, this is what you're going to do. This is, this is it. Well, what happens if an accident happens right in front of you? How many times has that ever happened? So it doesn't have millions of clips to pull from in those situations. So it's, it's always a very interesting experience, um, you know, to, to get caught in those things. The construction was kind of neat uh, coming up handle that I mean, just like you or I would without hesitation. I've frankly seen people handle construction zones like that worse than how this would be. Um, this on-ramp here does merge over and it looks like we have a car in front and behind us. Uh, I don't know if you know this. This is actually my rear view camera. I've uninstalled my rear view camera with the tonneau cover closed. I can't see out the back of of this truck anyway so 
I have this, it's a permanent uh, rear wheel, a rear, rear view camera. I've got my side mirrors still, so kind of see everything that's going around. It was weird at first. Um, I'm looking in the rear view mirror and it's black because I can't see anything behind me. So my eyes just jet down and you know, here we go. Let's see everything. <clears throat> so the only thing so far that I don't like was that left hand turn by that grocery store. Um, there was a car that was stopping at their stop. I was turning left and it got like, it got close. We could have gone a lot wider, I think. Again, it's it's one of those things. Was it wrong? Did it hit something? No. Or was it comfortable? Not for me. I don't know about for them either, but. I would have preferred to have avoided that uncomfortableness. Okay, so it's not this exit. This uh, this exit is actually kind of interesting as well. Um, the on-ramp here is also the exit lane or turns into the exit lane. So if they're not exiting, they will often get over into these, uh, these lanes. And meanwhile, I need to get over uh, in those lanes. So sometimes it's congested. Right now it's not, clearly. I have plenty of time to get over. So here's what I'm saying. This exit, it's two lanes that exit. But then these two lanes turn into multiple lanes. Either turning left or one is a straight or you turn, I'm sorry, multiple lanes turning right or one lane goes straight or turns left. This is actually the right lane to be in to avoid the situation that this often finds itself in. Both of these lanes, if we were to stay in both of these lanes, they will turn, or you have the opportunity to turn right. This is always kind of like a NASCAR style on it. It's just abrupt. Okay, so this should not be getting over into the left-hand lane. This car by by me is probably like, what are you doing um, with, with that blinker on? This is the correct lane to be in. Okay, so it is, it is three lanes. Both of these lanes here turn right. They're both acceptable to be in. I, we're not gonna have a problem, obviously. So it's, it's usually if we're in that leftmost turn lane, it will always just insist on being in this lane to turn <laughs> onto this street, always. So in this case, Everything was perfect. I loved it, uh, except for having the left-hand blinker on. That car was probably like, hello, if you're going to get over, get over. Sorry. I need a, uh, I need a sticker or a magnet that says, uh, you know, new driver or something like that. Just so people, <laughs> people understand a little bit. Uh, this is great. So this speed limit on, on this stretch of, of, of this street is uh, is 45. Further up, it does change into 40. But right now, flow of traffic, traffic is in front of me. I have a car coming up behind me. Um, but we were doing 50, which I think is perfectly comfortable, perfectly acceptable, uh, not dangerous whatsoever. Just do, doing, our, doing our thing. 47 in a 45, like, I'm cool, I'm cool. We've had green lights, I mean, this, this has just been so easy. We are going to have to get into the leftmost lane to make a turn on a, uh, we're, we're gonna need to get to the suicide lane, to the middle lane, to make a turn, so we're gonna see how that, that goes. Looks like a mile. And 
we'll see what it does. So we might get into, there's a little bit of traffic here on the, in this left-hand lane, and we're gonna see how it handles it. We're gonna have to get between some people in about a half mile. Okay, I mean, this is, this is amazing. Uh, there's plenty of space between us. It didn't cut somebody off. It didn't decide to zoom in front of this person, get in front of them. Uh, that's a perfectly, uh, I, my foot is like muscle memory, like, oh God, don't do anything stupid. Um, but that was great. That was amazing. And up here, we are going to have to get into the suicide lane after this stoplight. <clears throat> Make sure that cross traffic is clear before we turn into the parking lot. This has just been so cool. It's been so nice. Now turn left. a lot better it would be really interesting to test this I don't know actually I was gonna say during during like rush hour traffic like after work or something like that but honestly it's it's a little better in traffic just because you're, you're obviously you're not going fast um, I mean this should be this should be so smooth and easy uh, it is hesitating it did not want to go in front of this car I probably would have been uh, fine but it did not I, there's no judgment. I mean, that stepped on the brakes as we entered in uh, to this parking lot. Uh, where this is the bank drive-through. Um, <laughs> so, so this is interesting. Your destination will be on the left. I'm gonna take over because <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh that okay. Perfect 10 out of 10. Let's give it a 9 out of 10. Even if we want to say, hey, that was a little uncomfortable with that left hand turn. 8 out of 10. A 10 right there. What was what was up with that? Alright though. Uh, uh this has been awesome. This has been super fun. I am so excited that this is out. And uh I like very comfortable with with everything that it did it even dropped me off at the bank like hey you like money have some money um i was like no you know no thank you and don't just stop abruptly in the middle of the uh in the middle of the drive through atm so anyway that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did um i'll catch you later <laughs>